Tension on the runway in Bosaso Airport in Somalia's northeast. Security staff stopped this United Arab Emirates aircraft from leaving the country after military instructors on board refused to have their luggage searched. Airport officials insisted all heavy bags be checked, resulting in a standoff. It was not clear what their baggage contained. This is a clear indication that relations between the two countries are going from bad to worse. Politically speaking, the situation is headed for further escalation. The Somali government has filed complaints against the UAE, both regionally and internationally. Last week, the Somali government seized almost $10 million in sealed bags from a UAE royal jet at Mogadishu International Airport. The government was, was making a point by confiscating cash that was destined for the UAE embassy in Mogadishu and reportedly for the payment of troops uh, that the UAE has been training and sustaining. Relations between Mogadishu and Abu Dhabi have been frosty since June last year when Mogadishu resisted pressure from the UAE and Saudi Arabia to cut ties with Qatar and join the blockade they imposed on Qatar. The disagreement between Somalia and the UAE centers around two deals. Abu Dhabi is building a massive military base in the strategic port town of Berbera in Somaliland, which wants to break away. For the UAE, Berbera is conveniently close to Yemen, where it's part of the Saudi-led coalition fighting Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. The Dubai-based company DP World is also taking over the port in Berbera. Somaliland's relatively small port exports livestock to the Middle East and imports food and other items. All that's set to change now, as DP World says it's prepared to spend up to $442 million to develop the port. For Somaliland, the Dubai port deal is not only a financial windfall, but also a vote of confidence. That is a major problem for Somalia, which views Somaliland as its sovereign territory. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.